recording. Okay, we're going to t show and talk about how to draft and get a silk hanky ready to spin. And as you can see, these come in little layers right on top of each other. And the best way to find and separate each hanky is to hold on to the edge of it because you really do want to have just one hanky to work with. So that's what I'm doing is pulling off one hanky. And as you can see here, it's got thicker edges and very thin in the middle. And what we're going to do is take our hands, and you can see it's going to stick to my hands quite a bit, but we're just going to take your hands on each side and pull this hanky apart so that we're thinning the center, but not really thinning the edges yet. Okay, and we'll reach a point when there's really nothing in the center. And once we reach that point, you can go ahead and just open it completely up so that there is nothing in the center. Now, instead of just pulling on this this way, we're going to go ahead and open this up on an edge. And you'll have to kind of gently, or not so gently, <laughs> tug so that you get it to open up and now you have what looks like a roving and this is what you want to thin out to the point of what you want to spin now if you want to spin thicker you may not want to go much further than this but really because there are thick areas and thin areas in this it's best to go ahead and kind of try and draft it out so that you have even thickness in what you're actually going to spin. So you can see I have thinned out the edge and made a very thin, tiny roving and that's what I'll be spinning. So we're just going to go ahead and work all the way down on this. And I'm, as you can see, it's getting thicker and thicker on the back. You know, all of that is kind of working towards the back. So I'm kind of holding that in place with my right hand and pulling out with my left hand. And then after I reach a certain point, I'll go ahead and back my right hand up, kind of tug that out to an even thickness again and continue to thin it out more. And that got just a little too thin, and that's all right. You'll, you may reach areas that you'll have to stop and rejoin your fiber as you're spinning. This is, as you can see, a very non-smooth silk. There are bumps in it. It's because it's made from flattening out cocoons and stretching them, and so you're going to have lots of little bits that are not actually part of a smooth long strand of silk. Okay, I am at the end pretty much of that and all I'm going to really do now is put it into something that will kind of keep it. I'm having a hard time doing this last bit and you may find that you can't really thin the last bit the same. There we go. Then I'm just going to wrap it very 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 loosely and make what you call a nest around my hand and this doesn't even have to stay that way to spin I will go ahead and store it this way and I'll be ready to spin when I'm ready and sitting at my spinning wheel so that then is your nest of silk ready to spin